Hello everyone, myself Fushan Tande, working as Assistant Professor in Electrical Engineering Department of Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technical Education and Research Center, Nusa. And today we are going to discuss the subject of High Voltage Engineering, which comes in 4th year, 7th semester. And today we are going to discuss Introduction to Syllabus. So today we are going to see the syllabus of high voltage engineering okay and this is your seventh semester and your subject code is 3170917 and this is also professional core course in electrical and what are the rational or what are the prerequisites or what are the outcomes that importance of this subject that is the electrical power transmission is trending toward higher and higher voltage because we know as the demand is going to be increased we need to supply more power so for supplying the more power we need to increase our voltage level because p is equal to v into i that is the normal thing you know the power is equal to voltage into current so if the demand of power is increasing at the same time voltage is going to be fixed because the demand is increasing it means the total amount of current that is increasing so if the current is increasing then the uh, I square R loss also increasing in our transmission line and all the things, other things like anti current losses is also increasing. We need to increase the size of the conductor, right? So, all the complications are going to be there. So, for that, uh, we are choosing the higher level of voltage to uh, rectify the effect of power demand, okay? And under such scenario, the conceptual understanding related to the insulation because if we are increasing the voltage, so at the same time, insulation need to be increased, right? So how we are going to increase the insulation, what are the property of insulation, how insulation is going to be in a breakout condition, all the things we are going to see in this subject. Then after testing the high voltage device is must for every electrical engineering. Right, I think uh, this is what you already studied in your uh, intensive. Then after the subject deal with high voltage test generator devices and measurement devices over a voltage including lightning and non-destructive testing as well as so all the thing that is testing and generating the high voltage that's what we are going to study in high voltage engineering now here is the teaching scheme for your subject okay so as you can see over here in teaching scheme you have total number of three lectures per week okay three lectures per week and two hours for the practical purpose in your laboratory so Right now, in our our college, we have well equipped laboratory, right? That is the laboratory of high voltage engineering. And all the performance or all the practicals that we are going to perform in that high voltage laboratories. Then after examination marks, that is of theory marks of 70 marks and practical for the 30 marks. And after that, practical marks that is ESE for 30 marks and PA for 20 marks. So total valuation for the high voltage engineering is out of 150 marks. Now we are going to see the content or we can see what we are going to, uh, how many chapters we are going to study and content of the subject. So first chapter that is the electro electrostatic field and field stress control which consume two hours of time and in which we are going to study the electric field distribution and breakdown strength of the insulating material. That is what we are going to study in the first, very much of first chapter. So, Electric field distribution that is also a very important topic and look after inside of the high voltage engineering and the breakdown of the insulator that is also very much of important topic that we are going to study in chapter number one. Next one that is the field in homogeneous isotropic materials and uh, in which we are going to see the different type of material and how electric field distribution behave in different type of materials. And, uh, field in multi dielectric isotropic material that is also we are going to cover inside of the chapter number one that is also we are going to start from the very much of next second chapter that is the numerical analysis of electrical field in high voltage equipments okay this is very important term uh, important topic by means of numerics okay and this is chapter uh, which is very important while we are calculating all the different things or we can say we are seeing simulating or designing all of these. So numerical method that is charge simulation method that is CSM that is charge simulation method. Second one that is finite difference method that is FDM. Then after finite element method. So all these different method are very much of important uh, with respect to your calculations. Okay. 
with respect to your calculations. Now, the next one that is the boundary element methods and competitive summary foundation of the finite element equation in two or three dimensions and forming the functional equation then after energy functions illustrate and numerical representation. So all the thing that is different matters of high voltage equipment or analysis of the high voltage equipment that what we are going to study in chapter number two and this chapter is going to consume four lectures. Next one that is the chapter number three that is the very lengthy chapter in which we are going to see the electrical breakdown in gases. Okay. Uh, we have different type of chapter for different materials that is for gases we have different chapter for liquid and solid we have different chapter but most probably we are going to cover major time for the gases because gases as insulating media ionization and decay process then after uh, first ionization coefficient photo ionization ionization by the interference so all the things of atom or we can say breakdown of air all the different things that we are going to study inside of this chapter that is electric breakdown in gases and this is very much of important topic because in the high voltage transmission line if we know that the switch gears and all the switch yard is designed inside of the atmosphere most probably circuit breaker isolator are also inside of the atmosphere so right now as we know that in high voltage engineering in switch yard for switching purpose we are using some different type of circuit breaker and most probably in current scenario we are using SF6 type circuit breaker right so, uh, in this chapter we are also going to see the use of SF6 and why we are going to use the SF6 type of circuit breaker in current scenarios. Right, so all things that we are going to cover inside of this chapter. Next chapter that is the breakdown in liquid and solid diagrams. So, liquid as an insulator that we already know like uh, in transformer oil is performing as an insulator or you can say coolant, right. So all oil is going to perform two different type of actions that is the insulating the windings and also cooling the windings. So this type of liquid is used as an insulating. So liquid as an insulator then after breakdown in liquids, electronic breakdown then after suspended solid particle mechanisms, cavity breakdowns and its examples then after static electrification in power transfer. So all the things that we are going to study instead of this chapter number 4. That is for the liquids and for the solid also we are going to study the breakdown in solids then after instinct breakdowns, streamer breakdowns and all the things related to the solids. So liquids and solids all the things that we are going to study in chapter number 4 which is going to consume the total number of 7 lectures. Then after chapter number 5 that is the generation of high voltage. Now generation of high voltage that is generation of direct high voltage half and full wave rectifier circuit I think uh, we have already studied about the rectifier circuit inside of the power electronic subject so uh, it is going to be a little bit of easy for understanding the half and full wave rectifier circuit for the high voltage then after voltage multiplier circuit then after Van de Graaff generator electrostatic generators then after all the examples different then after generation of alternating voltage testing transformer cascade transformer, resonant transformer and its examples with the impulse voltage and standard lighting and switching cells and associated parameters and then corrections, design and construction of impulse voltage generator circuit and all the different things that is one degree generator or you can say the half bridge or impulse voltage generator or uh, voltage multiplier circuit all the things that already we have in our laboratory of high voltage engineering. So all the things that we are going to study, we are also going to perform the different experiments of all the theories. Okay, like this uh, impulse generator or we can say cascade transformer and all the different things. Okay, so all the things that we are going to uh, perform inside of our high voltage laboratories. So as soon as our college is going to resume or restart, then all the students are able to come inside of the college and we will visit our high voltage laboratory. Now next chapter that is the chapter number 6 that is the measurement of high voltage. Uh, in previous chapter we already generated high voltage now it's time to measure the high voltage so uh, direct measure uh, then after peak voltage measurement then after by uh, spark gap, sphere gap, reference measuring system all the different methods of measuring high voltage then after road gap factor affecting the sphere gap measurements and examples then after ele electrostatic voltmeter, meter in series with the high ohmic resistance 
and all the measuring devices okay i think uh, you have studied little bit of measurement portion inside of your measurement subject right so uh, in this uh, chapter uh, it is going to be little bit easy to understand all the different methods and categories of measurement of i voltage now the next chapter that is the chapter number 7 of over voltage and insulation coordination so insulation coordination is the very much of important factor while designing the high voltage transmission line or high voltage substation or anything so the lightning mechanism then after energy in lightning nature of danger and its examples then after insulation coordination insulation levels that are the different levels of insulation then after statical approach to insulation coordination and correlation between the insulation and protection levels so what is the correlation between insulation and protection levels and that we are going to study inside of the chapter number seven and it is going to consume four lectures then after chapter number eight that is the non-destructive test techniques so inside of that we are going to see the insulation so the measurement of dc resistivity then after direct uh, dielectric losses and capacitance measurement then after stretching bridge current cap uh, comparator bridge and tan delta measurement and PD uh, measurement then after the basic of PD circuits and all the things related to the insulation measurement or insulation descriptive measurement technique that we are going to study and the machine winding also we are going to cover in this chapter so the frequency response analysis that is FRE then after its introduction then after so what is the swing frequency response analysis that is SFRE and its product production then after what is the procedure to measure all the things then after measurement of interruptions of signature and the last chapter that is the high voltage testing and testing of insulator and brushing sorry insulator and brushing then after testing of isolators and circuit breaker testing of cables testing of transformer testing of surge diameter all the things we are going to study in chapter number 9 that is the high voltage testing now uh, there is one note that is 10 to 20 percentage of weightage should be given to the examples okay so it is one thing that we need to note as, as uh, in this subject we are see, uh, we are going to perform different examples so uh, for the evolution system or for the marking system 10 to 20 marks are given to the examples and remaining 80 to 90 percentage are for your theories okay and uh, institute have uh, proper high voltage laboratory which we have high voltage laboratory that is in very much of proper manner and very much of in active manner so uh, there is no issue regarding all the practical performance now the next thing that is the reference book that we are going to use for this subject that our first one that is the high voltage engineering by water uh, that is what uh, a little bit of important and half of the syllabus is also given inside of this book second one that is the Naidu MS and Kamarachu that is high voltage engineering it is very also important uh, and uh, that is the publisher of Tata McQueen and the third book that is the Rakos Das by the high voltage engineering problem and solution in which uh, there are lots of numericals and chapter number 2 that is the complete chapter number 2 from the reference book of chapter number 3 and all these books are also available in our library so if you find uh, if you have find any query regarding these books then you can contact with the library and all the other books are given as below now here is the outcomes of the course so after learning the course the students will be able to apply the numerical method for the engineering problem for the specific cell high voltage engineering problem then after recalling of a breakdown mechanism for dielectric material in liquid solid and gas states that is the chapter number three and four and third that is the classification of insulation testing techniques that are the different classification of insulation testing and different classes of the insulation that also we are going to study in insulation coordination now fourth one that is the examine method for the generation of test high voltage as well as for the measurement of high voltage and its analysis and conclude about correctness of design and manufacturing of high voltage insulation after the performing different test okay so after performing different experiments uh, we are able to conclude that this type of material required uh, this type of class of insulation and this type of high voltage required this class of high voltage insulations now here are the list of experiment that is suggested by GT. so first experiment that is the testing of transformer oil according to the Indian standard 6792 
So this is what we are going to perform in our high voltage laboratory and it is the experiment number one. Now the second one that is the testing of solid insulator with uh, DAP electrodes. Okay, with the DAP electrodes we are going to measure the sol solid insulation. Then after measurement of high voltage DC and measurement through the sphere beam. And second one that is the generation of high voltage AC voltage and measure through the sphere beam. So the generation of high voltage AC and DC both and measurement through the sphere gap that is also we are going to perform in our laboratory now fifth that is the generation of high voltage AC through the cascade transformer that is also available in our laboratory so we are going to perform this material as well then after six one that is the impulse voltage generated through the max generator okay so this is also very important impulse voltage generated through simulations that is we are going to perform in simulation mode and address the field through electrolytic okay that is also we are going to perform and generation of visualization of corona in corona cage we have one section of corona cage inside of which we are going to observe the generation of corona cage and at, at what level of voltage and current and the corona is going to be formed and that is going to show a visual yellow or we can say visual violet blue that violet blue we are going to observe inside of our laboratory then that is the capacitance and loss and 11 that is the a report on visiting of high voltage laboratory so you have to prepare a report for the final submission when uh, after performing all the experiment or we can say after performing all the 10 experiment you have to complete one report and in report you have to write up all the things or you can say conclusion of all the different experiments now here are the design based problem or we can say open ended problem that you have to perform in your group Okay, so first one that is the design of impulse generator with various combination of wave uh, shaping registers and capacitors. Okay, so using the different shaping registers and capacitor, you have to generate or you can say you have to design an impulse generator for generating high voltage. Second one that is the design of CW type voltage multimeter with various stages. So stage one, stage two, stage three with different states, we have to design the voltage generator. Then after design of Tesla coil that is also given to some group to design a Tesla coil and design of generating voltmeter that is the four different type of design based problem that you have to perform apart from your project work and apart from your laboratory work okay so this is kind of mini project that you have to perform in this subject and here are the major equipment that all the different equipment are also available in our laboratory so if you find some time and you can also visit our laboratory now uh, here are the list of open source for software for learning from the website so open source software that is uh, FEMEN that is F-E-M-N that is finite and uh, elements method magnetics okay then uh, this is also available uh, in our laboratories and then after ti cat that is uh, important and all these species or circuit simulations uh, most probably we are going to use the first uh, software that is the FEMN that is finite element method magnetics okay and here are the website from where we can download uh, the software by just clicking this uh, link you can directly uh, towards the website and from that you can easily download it okay uh, here are the circuit lab that is the website of circuit lab uh, where you can perform live without downloading the software you can perform all the performance or we can say simulation on the websites and open weight soft uh, open max tools that are maxima software then after uh, sagmath and scilab so we are going to use a uh, scilab in most probably cases okay and online online experimental tool that is this uh VDAP e -E -L -I -I -T okay so uh, from this website also we are going to perform or we can say we, uh, we can study the different experiment uh, from this portal and learning website are from the NPDL and electrical engineering portal. So these are the two very important portals. Uh, I preferably refer you to the NPDL website for the learning of high voltage subject. Here are some of the standards that we need to mention in our uh, experiments or uh, in our subject. So these are the Indian standard or RWE standards that we can study. Okay. So that's it for the syllabus of the high voltage engineering.